Hello, AP. Today, me and Addy are going to be talking about the Loyalists. Also, Kashal. During the American Revolution, there were two sides, the Loyalists and the Patriots. The Patriots wanted the 13 colonies to be its own country. Loyalists were loyal to the British and wanted the 13 colonies to be ruled by Britain. The Patriots are mad about this. And they started torturing the Loyalists. They were also burning down their houses. So then the Loyalists started running to Canada. Some of them used ships, but some of them had to walk all the way to Canada. People who had to walk all the way to Canada had to walk more than 700 kilometers. Also, and there were different types of Loyalists. Some examples are Black Loyalists. They were usually slaves. Um, European Loyalists. And there were also Aboriginal Loyalists, uh, and they were forced out of their land by George Washington. The Loyalists faced tremendous hardships, including the, the risk of getting caught by the Patriots. It took days and days, maybe even weeks or months, uh, to reach the BNA, or in other words, the British North America, or in other words, Canada. Um, and, and when they reached to Canada, they didn't even get... They didn't, they weren't even treated right. They had like really bad homes. So after reaching the BNA, the Loyalists wanted to petition the British government to let them have the right to actually practice British laws. So the British governor of Quebec, Sir Guy Carleton, proposed that the division of the province of Quebec into the upper and lower Canada's. French laws were enforced in Lower Canada. So in Upper Canada, British laws were enforced. We, we hope you remember, remember the Loyalists. Loyalists.